I said this a few weeks ago, Jordan Davis looks to be in tremendous shape. It looks like that's the case. And did you hear Dak Prescott and the Cowboys plan to keep beating Jalen Hurts? That ain't going to happen. King Ding back here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. So the biggest misconception is that somehow Dak Prescott owns Jalen Hurts. They have only gone up against each other two times, yet the Cowboy fans hold their hats on that. Well, I got some bad news for them. The numbers that they think is so great may actually really tell you how bad it is for them. And have you seen Jordan Davis? He looks like he's in tremendous shape. We saw this a few weeks ago. Now it's confirmed. But before we get into this video, if you're new to the channel, you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, to the most throttled, pause, Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And if you've been subscribed for a while, I just want to thank you so much for all the support uh, you guys uh, give to us or give to me. I appreciate it so much. And also, uh, thank you for all the happy birth birthdays for my daughter yesterday. She wanted everybody to know thank you very much. And she was uh, very flattered by all the happy birthdays. So thank you very much. I showed her the comments. Most of the comments, some of the comments I can't show her because, you know, they're just hating on the, her daddy. You're hating on the dad. What are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? I'm a daddy. But, anyways, in this video, there's a few things I want to talk about. It, it's very, very, very hard. It's, all, it's probably impossible to trigger me. It, it's very, very hard. I don't often get triggered. This article that I read today, I kind of got triggered. And we're going to have to talk about it in a second because I think it's the most ridiculous thing. Matter of fact, I think it shows, actually, uh, that the Cowboys have really, really dropped the ball over the last many years. But I do want to talk about Jordan Davis for a second, right? Uh, yesterday, the Eagles had OTAs, and uh, the talk. one of the talks about OTAs was Jordan Davis is in tremendous shape. He's in tremendous shape. Uh, last year, that was his biggest problem. Uh, we talked about this. We talked about this a few weeks ago because when the Eagles had the draft and then they had Nolan Smith and Jalen Carter come in, Jordan Davis was there, and I showed you guys this picture, and I said, look at this picture. If you look, uh, Jordan Davis looks 25 pounds lighter. He looks light, you know, but you only have one picture. You really don't know. Well, now he's in OTAs. They, they put out some pictures yesterday of the defensive line working. Here was this picture of Jordan Davis, and, and clearly you can see Jordan Davis looks thin. I mean, he looks like he has thinned down substantially. You can even see his leg muscles and veins. Uh, he looks in tremendous shape, and I have to pause for that. Just in case I, 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 mess, I messed up with a big pause yesterday. Did you see I call myself a D-hopper? And, and I didn't mean it the way it was taken. I meant it the way it was supposed to be, that I, I'm for DeAndre Hopkins coming to the Eagles. But everybody said, oh, you didn't pause for that one. So that was a big pause. I should pause now for it. There you go. So pause. But... Jordan Davis looks to be in tremendous shape. We saw that one picture at the draft. Now we're looking at this picture. And what people were saying at the OTAs is he's looked like he's slimmed down tremendously. And that's going to be the key to Jordan Davis. If Jordan Davis comes in and he's well conditioned, he's in shape, I think that's half the battle. Because I think we all know he has the athletic talent. He has the ability uh, and the strength to really dominate. He really has... The ability. He's just got to put in the work. And that's the whole key to him. I think a lot of times you get these big guys and, and, and people assume because they're big or they're heavy that they're, that they're somehow lazy. And that's all, all they are is just lazy. And that's why they're so big out of shape. I, I don't know why he was out of shape last year, but, um, I really wanted to see Jordan Davis and probably one of my top guys. I really wanted to see how he jumped or how he looked going into this season. So far, he looks like he's in tremendous shape. That's going to be huge for the Eagles. The Eagles have a chance um, from the defensive tackle standpoint to dominate for years and years to come. So uh, shout out to Jordan Davis, man. I think that's a really, really good sign, and it's a really good thing. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is this.
See, I, 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 people get mad at me sometimes of the subjects I choose. Why are you talking about that? Why are you talking about this? I, I talk about what, what's on my heart. I, I come on here and I tell you what I want to, you know, what I want to talk about. If I want to talk about DeAndre Hopkins, I come on here and talk about it. Why do a video about something else and then have nobody to talk about what I want to talk about? The whole reason I started this channel was to talk about things that I want to talk about. And today I want to talk about this, this stupid article. All right. Uh, because I thought it was, it was, you know, it, it, it's a cowboy. It was Mike Fisher and, 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 and it's well written. No doubt about it. But it, obviously, it's 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 biased towards the Dallas Cowboys, and it's and, and the name of the article was Cowboys versus Eagles, Dak Prescott, and the plan to keep beating the Eagles. And he talks about how Jalen Hurts is one and two versus the Dallas Cowboys, zero oh and two versus Dak Prescott. And if Dak would have played in the first game versus the Eagles, he might have been zero and three. Although I don't think that's the case. Jalen Hurts would be if Jalen Hurts and Dak played in both games last year. Uh, it would be two and two right now, okay? It would be two and two. And it goes on to talk about how the Eagles are good, but the Cowboys have their number. And the plan is as long as they keep beating the Eagles, uh, they'll be just fine. And and listen, th th there is some truth in that. They have beaten the Eagles. They, they have beaten the Eagles over the last, what? Uh, so many years, they've also they've also owned the NFC East. Look at this. Look at this. This is what it says. Uh, we think they call that a trend, and they're talking about the Eagles, the record versus Eagles. And of course, it's a thread tread uh, that runs through the NFC East. Dak's lifetime record against the Eagles is eight and three. Okay, uh, his record versus the Washington no names is nine and two, and ten and two versus the Giants. That's right. Dak is twenty seven and seven versus the NFC East. And during that, his time in Dallas, the Cowboys are thirty and twelve against the division. So that's the whole point of it. Dak Prescott. Uh, has a great record versus the division. He beats these teams all the time, blah, 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 and, and the plan is to keep beating them. Well, one, the Eagles are a lot different now, okay? This is a team that is well, way better built uh, than it has been in the last few years. I don't think you can look at an 0-2 record and then say somebody is dominating you head-to-head. -head. That is ridiculous. It's only been two games. Maybe let's let's get to eight, nine games, and let's see. I truly believe if Dak and uh, Jalen Hurts played in both those games last year, I believe it would be two and two right now. Okay, a lot of those years the Eagles were up and down. You know, between winning the Super Bowl and 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 you know getting to the point they are now, we were up and down. Uh, but but what this really shows, and to me, the the thing that that the Cowboy fans are really missing in this and really should be worried about is that. Just, he's eight and three versus the Eagles lifetime, nine and two versus the Eagle or, or versus Washington, ten and two versus the Giants. He's twenty-seven and seven in the NFC East. Yet Dallas has not done anything with it. They have squandered. They have squandered a time period in which they had a great record versus the division. And they have been unable to repeat as NFC East champions. There hasn't been a repeat in NFC East since 2004. Well, guess what? There will be this year. But there hasn't been. So what they're talking about, oh, we got this record versus they did the NFC East and versus the Eagles and the Giants and Washington. Truth is, is you have a 27-7 and record versus the division, and you've done nothing with it. You've done nothing with it. You've blown it. Because now you have a team that is clearly better. For the one thing you can say, the Eagles won the Super Bowl in 2017. We had a lot of up and down years. There was a whole situation with Carson Wentz. You know, we had a lot of older guys. Our, 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 our roster, let's be honest, kind of was up and down in transition over the last few years. Dallas pretty much had the same roster every year. But they couldn't do anything with it. They could not win the big games. So while they focus on what they used to have, which is which is typical Dallas Cowboys, right? They always focus on the past and not the future. Um, what what this shows me right now is that the Cowboys had a golden opportunity to go far, to to do damage, to repeat as division champs, and they've done nothing with it. They couldn't get out of the second round of playoffs. They couldn't repeat as division champs, and now now you have the Eagles who are a juggernaut right now, a juggernaut, better roster than the Dallas Cowboys have right now, 
and you have the Giants who are on the up and up, and Washington has a good roster if they could find a quarterback. So all these teams have superseded whatever Dallas thought they were and closed the gap. And I don't think that you'll see this record continue. This record is going to change dramatically because Dallas has squandered their um, their chances. When I read this article, that's what it says to me. The Dallas Cowboys has squandered opportunities to really do anything. And now you got the Eagles who are a lot better. And trying to beat the Eagles is a whole different ball of wax. You know, say, oh, well, we're 0-2 versus Dak Pre uh, Jalen Hurts. And Dak Prescott, uh, Dak's 0-2-0 uh, versus them. Well, one, he is not have a Jalen Hurts. Wait, th those two games, th th this team, this roster was different. This roster right now is a juggernaut. You you haven't had Dak Prescott go up against Jalen Hurts with this roster. Fact of the matter is, Dallas beat us last year. Uh, they scored a lot of points, but we scored a lot of points on them, and we had Gardner Minshew. Now, if you put Jalen Hurts in, in, that, uh, in that game on, on Christmas Eve, the Eagles will kill them. It would have been over. The Eagles would have beaten them. The Eagles would have scored at least 10 more points more. So I think that this article, what it really says is Dallas blew their, blew their window. Their, their window is closing. And the Eagles' window is just opening. That's what I take out of it. Oh, and two, to try to, to, try to brag about uh, two, two games, uh, oh, and two record, two and a record, is not dominance. Is not dominance, okay? When it's you know, when you get get to eight and two, get to ten and two versus Jalen Hurts, then we'll talk. Uh, but that ain't gonna happen. Dallas had their chance and they blew it. So move over, sit back, sit down, go back to the couch, couch boys, because the Eagles will show you how it's done for years to come. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a ding back. Remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. Okay, so you know what? After like seeing this word mark, I'm just saying, after seeing this word mark, you know, up close with the shirt, there is no doubt the Eagles are planning to change some things around. I do not think they are going to keep the same logo. It just doesn't go together. It could, this goes better with that, you know? So I think, I think. We are, we are in the next few years not only going to just see Kelly Green alternate jerseys, but I do think that the Eagles are going to be changing things around. It's just my opinion. I'm sticking to it. With that said, Denzel Washington out.